Hello and welcome to Year 3 Maths with me, Miss Dowley. So let's start by writing the short date and underlining and the learning objective, I can read and interpret information from a bar graph and underlining. So our first activity, we're going to look at the tally chart below. What does it tell us? Have a look now. Then I'd like you to answer the questions that are here. Pause whilst you have a go. So how did you do? So the tally chart asked us, how many pupils like mystery books? Well, we can see that there were 12. How many children liked science fiction? There were four. How many liked comics? There were 10. How many pupils liked fairy tales? There was two. Which book did the children like the best? The mystery books. And which one did they like the least? The fairy tales. The same information can be presented as a bar chart. So we're going to have a look at the same questions and we're going to use a ruler to read the answers. So have a try now and then we'll have a look together. So we're going to use a ruler. So I'm just learning how to use this ruler. So it moves. So if we use the ruler to just put by the answers. So how many pupils liked mystery books? So if I put my ruler right at the top of the line for the mystery books and look across, it says 12. And that's the answer. So how many people like science fiction? So I'm going to move it down to the science fiction, put it right on the top of the science fiction and then look across to see which number it's at. And that's number four. How many children liked comics? I'm going to do the same thing, put the ruler on the top and I'm going to look across. That was 10. How many liked fairy tales? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it here. I can see where the fairy tales is and I move across and it was two. And then it says, how many pupils, uh, which book did the children like the best? We can see very clearly it's the mystery books. And which one did they like the least? The fairy tales. Bar graphs can be easier to read than a tally chart as you can see the results in one picture. So I want you to have a look at the questions below. And again, you might want to use the ruler to help you and have um, a try at answering them. Pause now whilst you have a go. So, what did you find out? Using the graph, which book was the most popular? Well, we can see that without using our ruler, it was the mystery. Which book was the least popular? That was the fairy tales. Which book did four children like reading? And I'm just gonna bring up my ruler again because uh, for the mystery, Oh, if we put it on the four children, and that was science fiction. And which book did 10 children like reading? Again, let's find the 10, go across. We can see that that was comics. Now we can also ask comparison questions. So have a try at working out the following question. 10 children liked comics. Six children liked science fiction. How many more children liked comics compared to science fiction? Pause whilst you have a try. So let's have a look again. So we knew that 10 children liked comics and four children liked science fiction. So here's our 10 for the comics. Here's our four for the science fiction. Now to work this out, I want to know the difference between four and six. So I'm gonna use a subtraction. So I'm going to take four away from 10, and that will leave me with the answer six. So six more children liked comics compared to science fiction. Can you now try to work out the following answers here to these questions? Pause whilst you have a go. So how many more children like science fiction compared to fairy tales? Well, we knew that four liked science fiction and only two children liked fairy tales. So four take away two is two. So two more children preferred science fiction. How many more children liked mystery compared to comics? Well, 12 children liked mystery, 10 children liked comics. So 12 take away 10, the answer is two. 
How many more children like comics compared to fairy tales? Well, here is comics, here's fairy tales, so that's 10. Take away two, and the answer is eight more children. Have a look at the bar graph here. Now it's a bit different to the one that we've just looked at. Have a think why it's different. So if we looked at the one before, the subjects were down here on the bottom and the numbers, the scale, went along the side. Now on this one, the subjects are down the side and the scale is along the bottom. Now the other thing about the scale is it's going up in steps of two. Now you can see that it has got the lines in between, so you could put the numbers in here, so you'd have one in here and three there and five there and seven and nine, but they've just put them in um, steps of two and this is where your ruler will probably come in really handy to helping you look at those answers. So just have a try at answering the questions here. Pause whilst you have a go. How did you get on? So how many paintings did Apple School show? So let's find Apple School. Let's put our ruler against it. And we can see here, Apple School, they had six. How many paintings did Grape School show? So let's find Grape School, it's the purple one down the bottom. Let's just put our ruler next to it so we can see Grape here. They had, now it's one of the numbers in between eight and 10, so that would be nine. Which school showed the most paintings? Well, we can see here that Dandelion School was the most popular and it had 16 paintings. And which school showed the least? Well, there's two schools and both of these showed six paintings. So that would have been apple and carrot. So have a look at the questions here and just pause whilst you answer them. So let's have a look together. How many more paintings did Apple Primary School show compared to Berry Primary School? So we can see Berry here and they had 11 and Apple had six. So 11 take away six and the answer would be five. So they showed five more pictures. How many more paintings did Dandelion Primary School show compared to Grape Primary School? So here's Dandelion, they had 16. Here's Grape, they had nine. So uh, 16 take away nine, the answer is seven. And which school showed 11 paintings? Well, if we move our ruler to 11, we can see that that would be Berry Primary School. Have a try answering the questions from the bar graph below. Pause whilst you have a try. How did you get on? So this one again was a bit different. This was a maths competition. So how many participants came from Orchid Primary School? Again, I can find uh, Orchid Primary School. If I use my ruler, I can move along to Orchid and I can see that there were 12. How many participants were there from Pinewood? So if I find Pinewood, Pinewood is right at the end. So there were 15. Which school sends the least number of participants? Well, we can see here that was the smallest. So that was Rosemary. And Daisy Primary School sends three more pupils than Rosemary. Because if we look at Daisy, it's got 10. We look at Rosemary, it's got seven. So 10 take away seven, the difference would be three. Well done and thank you.